show you guys something pretty for a change. Instead of all this doom and gloom stuff. So I'm crossing the Diefenbaker Bridge. And I'm going to go to the Little Red River Park. And uh, over that way there is uh, Nordale and Hazeldale and the road to Shellbrook turn. The turn off to Shellbrook, I should say. And uh, right up here is where the city shuts off fireworks often for Canada Day and things like that. And it also happens to be a decent place to fish. Not that you'll catch many, but it's beautiful. It's nice spots to hang out. This is where me and my father-in-law like to go quite a bit in this area. I remember one night in particular, we caught, probably caught about 10, maybe a dozen gold eye each. It was a great night of laughing and telling stories and joking and just enjoying the, the, the rare, decent fishing and the view and the way the sun hits the Macintosh Mall and the uh, Sherman Tower, I think it is over there. It's just beautiful. This is also the area where Don Lamont, he used to work for the local radio here, CKBI, I think. And uh, where he would walk across the Baker Bridge and go fishing after work every day. And he's an amazing fisherman, I think. And uh, he has his own, or has or had his own show called The Complete Angler on Television. And, uh, He's kind of a celebrity around here, and he knows lots of celebrities. I remember one time I was watching him on TV, and he was fishing with that uh, that dude who played Radar O'Reilly on MASH. That apparently that guy, all the money he made from MASH, he spent on a beautiful boat, and he goes ocean fishing every, pretty much every day he can. And Don went with him, and it was really cool. I've also seen Don fish for sturgeon at the Fraser River on TV and catch a 200 plus sturgeon. The man has skills. And now I'm going to head right to the Little Red River Park. Where many a party has been thrown. And where lots of families are out here today, I'm assuming, having a good time. It's a really beautiful picnic area. Very nice. I was at some massive parties out at the Red when I was a kid. Grade 10, 11. I'm not sure grade 12. But holy fuck, I never liked many of them though. There were so many people. Usually it was uh, St. Mary's and Carlton. And there were always some gay rivalry going on between the two of them. So there was always lots of fights, lots of broken cars. Cops always came out there and broke it up at the end. It was always nuts. Not fun nuts either, just stupid nuts. Somewhere out by Hazeldale where I was pointing, I went to a party one time. Friend or someone from my cousin Ryan knew some guy he knows. And they wanted me and my band to come out there. It was a fucking boring ass party. But I had that little party going on inside my head because I I drank a whole whack of whiskey and I was feeling it. And I don't, I don't remember details, but I remember at the end of the party that fucking goof who owned the house. And this, I, my cousin can testify to this. He, uh, shoved a shotgun in my face <laughs> and threatened to blow my head off. And I don't remember what I did to provoke that, but that was the first and last time I ever went to that prick's house for a party. Clown that he is. And now this is the turn off and it is packed. And it should be on a Sunday. And this is where my wife worked in the winter at the Cosmo Lodge. Worked for the Métis local, or the local Métis. 
there's lots of people out here. This hill was three weeks ago it was covered in snow. Same with that one over there. I see a birthday party going on over there. I don't know if you guys can make that out. It's just so nice out here. It's this nice bridge. The little red river is running high. Another two parties, the one on both sides. So, wow. Is this ever nice? And they supply you free firewood out here and everything. Isn't that nice? This family gathering. Decent, half decent snowboarding hill out here too. That draws a lot of people over the winter, and I, and it still has snow on it, even though it's 20, one above according to my thermostat. Everybody's having a good time. It's very, very busy. There's a nice shot of the Little Red River, which you can catch fish in sometimes, but by the steady flow of that current, I'm guessing maybe the farmers upstream, the ranch owners busted some beaver dams and it's running out into the North Saskatchewan really fast, so there's no, no fish in there anymore. And uh, over here's the The snowboarding hill. It would be pretty cool to have a snowball fight right now in 22 above. That is neat, eh? In fact, it'd be refreshing. It's really hot out today. That's pretty, eh? Look at that. Lots of people out here. There's the Cosmo Lodge where I said my wife worked. And I think I am gonna throw a few snowballs out there. I get my own private parking spot. Pull up. Say hello. That's a very beautiful building too.